Hi everyone, welcome to Anu's classroom. In today's video, we are discussing time series analysis. This is a very important concept and time and again it has come as essay question for MMPC 5 in term and examination. So this is a unit, this is the last unit also in our MMPC 5 uh, subject and so therefore this will be the last video in this MMPC 5 playlist as well for uh, the theory part. Okay, so uh, I would suggest you take good care of this unit and do not go to the examination without preparing properly at least for this unit all right so because we have had multiple questions from uh, in multiple years question papers previous question papers for this particular uh, topic uh, my previous year question paper discussions are there already in the channel you can go and check them out and you will see what i'm saying okay so let us get started with the time series analysis a few of the things that we'll be discussing in this video are uh, de about decomposition methods, use of autocorrelation in identifying time series, and we'll also see an outline of the box Jenkins model for time series. Now, what exactly is time series analysis? And what exactly is time series? Time series analysis is a specific way of analyzing a sequence of data points that are collected over an interval of time, which is nothing but your time series, okay? In time series analysis, Analysts record data points at consistent intervals of time, okay, over a set period of time. That is time series. Time series is a series of data recorded over certain time intervals. That is time series, okay, R rather than just recording the data points intermittently or randomly. For example, measuring the value of retail sales each month of the year will be an example of a time series. And analyzing such a series is called time series analysis. What is decomposition methods and what is decomposition first of all? Decomposition is a forecasting technique which separates or decomposes, okay, that is breaks down historical data into different components and uses them to create a forecast which is more accurate than a simple trend line. This time series decomposition refers to the method by which we reduce our time series data into its following four components, that is trend, cycle, seasonality and remainder. To forecast a time series using this decomposition model, we will first calculate the future value of each of the separate components and then we'll add them back together to obtain the prediction. The challenge is actually finding the best model for each of these components. Now, how do we use autocorrelation in identifying time series? We talked about autocorrelation in our previous videos as well. The study of autocorrelation provides a very valuable clues as to the underlying pattern of a time series. Uh, what is autocorrelation? A quick recap. When we try to analyze a time series, okay, the present value of a time series with a past value of the same time series which we had collected earlier, we call that autocorrelation. Okay? That is finding a correlation between it uh, with different uh, I mean, data of the same series taken at different time intervals with each other. Okay? So, the study of autocorrelation in such time series will help us identify the randomness in data, any trends or seasonality. We can also identify the length of such seasons in case there is a seasonality. For any given data, the plot of autocorrelation for various time lags is diagnosed to identify which of the above basic patterns or a combination of these patterns it follows. That is whether, it, whether the data is purely random or whether there are any trends or whether there is any seasonality or is there any combination of any of these various uh, what you can say patterns now what is the box jenkins model for time series this is again another important concept we have had at least you know a few short note questions on what what do you understand by box jenkins model or what do you understand by time series and all come up in the previous question uh, previous years term and examinations now the box Jenkins model is a mathematical model which is designed to forecast data ranges based on inputs from a specified time series. This box Jenkins model can actually analyze several different types of time series data for forecasting purpose. It is a methodology which uses the difference between data points to determine outcomes. Like for example, last year um, your height was 150 centimeters, assume. This year, it has become 151. Uh, maybe two years back, you had height of 150, let's say 149. So, analyzing this data, you will find that there is a correlation between your height and your age, right? 
and you can also find the magnitude that is every year you are increasing around 1 centimeters. So the next year you can easily predict now that next year your height would most appro approximately be 100 and say 51 okay one one more centimeter more okay. So this is what the box Senkin model for time series also does. It uh, allows the model to identify uh, the trends using uh, auto regression, moving averages and seasonal differences to generate forecasts of the future. This auto regressive integrated moving average that is ARIMA models are a form of this box Jenkins model and this term ARIMA and box Jenkins are sometimes used interchangeably as well. So in case your question comes to describe about this auto regressive integrated moving average or ARIMA you have to talk about this box Jenkins model itself. It is another name or kind of like a interchanged name for box Jenkins model. One of the uses of this box Jenkins model analysis is to forecast stock prices. So this is the box Jenkins methodology. Okay. So the first stage is identification. We have to choose one or more ARIMA models candidates. Next, we estimate the parameters for the model which we chose at stage one. Then we diagnose that is, we check the candidate models for adequacy. Is If the model is satisfactory, then we go for forecasting. If it is not, then we will choose some other different ARIMA model candidate. So that was it about time series analysis. I hope you got an overview or a general idea of what time series analysis is. If you want the PPT which I have used in this video, uh, go to the link I have given in the description below and you can download the PDF for free. If you have stuck with me so far, I hope you enjoyed the MMPC5 series and found it useful and it helped you in breaking the ice about the various concepts that are being discussed in MMPC5. So all the best for your term and examination. Study well. I hope you grasp the concepts better and you be able to get good marks. In case you are interested in uh, looking at the previous year's question papers and its answers, the videos are already there on my channel. You can check out the MMPC5 playlist or the term and examination oriented playlist to find these uh, question answer discussions. So all the very best for your upcoming examination. And if you have any doubts, please feel free to leave it in the comment box below and I will try my best to give a satisfactory answer. Thank you very much and uh, hope to see you more frequently on Anu's classroom. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet. It will help me a lot. And it will help you also because you will be notified on any new updates which we have on the channel. Thank you very much. All the very best.